Normally notes are nasty grams about your displays. And I pulled in yesterday, went and got the mail and the envelope said to the Bones family. And I'm thinking, oh boy, here we go. A seasonal hobby for an Oxford family has now become a welcomed escape for a local cancer survivor. Family says they have a new perspective on their Halloween display after reading that note left in their mailbox. Yeah, it's a story you're only going to see here. And our Brenda Ordonia spoke with the family and the woman whose words changed their hearts. Brenda. Yeah, Megan, Trisha, the road right next to me is State Route 73 here in Oxford. It's a long stretch of road with not a lot to see but open fields. That is until very recently. Now I'm going to step behind the camera so I can turn it around and show you what Halloween display is adding to that scene. Homeowners tell me that this is the second year that they're putting on something like this. Their display includes about 50 skeletons, including those two 12-foot skeletons that you see right there. Now they tell me that they do this because it's fun for them. It's a bonding experience and it's fun for the community, but that no to help them find a deeper meaning. It started with the purchase of one or two five foot tall skeletons and from there it grew. In a year, Bill Piles acquired 48 skeletons that now hang out on his front lawn during the Halloween season. The response has been overwhelming. You know, the, the horns blowing every time somebody goes by, people stopping in the driveway to get pictures. Pyle says he and his family spent hours putting the display up and rearranging them every few days. Coming home and you drive by this and it gives you a moment of, what are they up to next? That excitement is what prompted a stranger to leave the family a letter in their mailbox that they will never forget. The letter came into the family bone and it says, I've been driving past your house for the past 19 days on my day way to radiation. A highlight of my journey has been checking to see who else has joined the Bone family and what they're up to. Thankfully, Wednesday, September 11th is my final radiation treatment, though I may need to continue driving by once in a while to see what's new. Thanks for the diversion. Tammy. Diagnosed with breast cancer in May, Tammy Wyhe says she wrote the letter simply to thank them for unknowingly providing her with some brightness in a dark time. At least every couple days, several times a week, it's like, oh, there's some skeletons washing the car. You know, oh, we have a dog and they have a dog now, you know. Um, so making those little connections matter. After receiving her note, Piles knew he had to do something special. So for several hours through the night, he and his family got to work, making signs of encouragement for Tammy to read this morning, the day of her last round of radiation. Today I said, as we z zipped past, it says, good job, you made it. And I got some pictures and I'm like, oh, that's for me. <laughs> it was very touching. Now again, the family tells me that the display will remain until through the week after Halloween. And again, they're going to continue changing and rearranging the skeletons. So you never know what you're going to see. For now, live in Oxford, I'm Brenda Ardonias, Fox 19 Now. Those are the kind of stories that just make doing the news just mm -hmm. a, a wonderful thing. People are just wonderful. This is